Ibushi in the hole one, two. Swing and a miss. There's a strikeout to start the game for Burroughs. Starting out pretty well because last game just went three innings, six earned runs. Establish her strike zone work ahead of these hitters from Colgate. comes the 0-2 from Burroughs. Swung on and missed. Two straight strikeouts for Burroughs. She's dealing so far. Right in the first one, we've seen able to catch up to that curveball. She was a little bit out front of it. Does pull it foul. Burroughs looks in. And now fires away. There it is again. The curveball swinging. One, two, three. All swinging strikeouts. For Florida State and Jessica Burroughs. As Florida State gets set to come up in the bottom of the first, we will take a look at their starting lineup as well. The heat can get to you. You're not used to it. You play inside because of the snow up in New York. You know, this heat has got to really get to this Raiders team. Absolutely. Today, temperatures in the 80s. It is humid here in Tallahassee. Is a good curveball from Burroughs. And Grenning goes down looking here for the first out. Again, Burroughs just snapping that curveball off. It starts a good swing there by Murray. But, again, the speed of Burroughs, when you're not used to seeing Burroughs, will throw her curveball in the mid-60s, usually the 63 to 66 range. When the ball's going that fast, a lot of these hitters will be under it until they can make that adjustment. Swung on and missed. Fifth straight strikeout for Burroughs as we've got two away. You see Burroughs just filling the strike zone up here in the early going. Something she struggled with in her last appearance against Notre Dame. She fell behind a lot of hitters and gave up the hits to Notre Dame. A really tough outing for her last time. There is the sixth straight strikeout for Burroughs. She goes down swinging. We go one, two, three in this inning as we've got a tie one going to the bottom of the second. Yider usually doing the pitching. She's actually leading this Colgate team in innings pitch so far, but she gets the night off here. She's playing first base for Colgate. Yeah, she's coming off her pitcher of the week in the Patriot League. A seventh strikeout for Burroughs. She's showing award-winning pitching here tonight. Again, another curveball we see. Burroughs just placing that ball so well on the outside corner, just not able to catch up with the movement Burroughs is featuring here in the early going. Burroughs goes to something different here. If she sticks with it, maybe tries to throw a curveball again, but a little bit further outside. The first seven batters went down by strikes. The last one, Gadiano flew out to Powers as that one is caught the inside corner. Zucker goes down on strikes. That's the eighth strikeout for Burroughs as we head to the top of the fourth. Four State leads 3 nothing. Straight strikes in the first inning. Here she's down 0-2. Something the Florida State pitchers talk a lot about can you retire the next batter following a hit or an air we'll see if burrows can do that here swung on and missed she's seen six pitches and i have gone down twice by means of the strikeout but by grennan she wasn't able to lay off of it in her first pitch as she swung at one outside the zone but a good job there on 2 lays off that pitch we'll see if she can get something here from burrows to get a swing off Swing and a miss. There's the second out of the inning. Two straight strikeouts for Burroughs is going to bring up here and then. Again, it sounds like a bit, little bit of a broken record player, but a curveball again on the outside corner. Really tough to handle for these righties. And Burroughs is going to keep going to that. Two strikes. Don't try to do too much. You're just almost trying to tap at the ball, put the ball in the dirt, get the ball in play, and let your speed work. We'll do the 2-2 again. Swing and a miss. Check down to first. She's back in. But Burroughs 
retires daily. That's her 11th strikeout of the day. And there is that back door. Yider facing a 1-2. Swings and misses the 12th strikeout for Burroughs. She's two away from her career high of 14. We see it once again to the right. He's going to just keep throwing that curveball in the outside corner. Yider not able to catch up with it. Still swinging underneath that pitch. Both pitchers here in the early going. Putting runners on, but once they've had those runners on, have really bared down and been pretty dominant. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss. 13 strikeouts in all for Jessica Burroughs. We're through the top of the fifth. We head to the bottom as Florida State leads 3 to nothing. But here in the fifth inning, they're able to push across five and end the game as we see Jessica Burroughs here dominant in the early going. Jessica Burroughs did dominate in this one. She picks up her fifth double-figure strikeout of her career as we're going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a presentation of ESPN.